Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how to use the NVH app to diagnose a vibration problem on a brand new vehicle. I purchased a brand new Toyota Sienna van recently and it has a vibration. But it's a brand new uh, vehicle. Uh, how could anything possibly be wrong? Well, new vehicles have problems too. So we are going to be using the new NVH app. There is a four step diagnostic procedure to go through uh, to diagnose vibrations with this NVH app. So the first thing we do is pick the vehicle that we're going to be uh, working on. Uh, there is a big list of uh, 25 different vehicle manufacturers with over 10,000 vehicle profiles in our app. So I'm just going to uh, scroll down, pick my 2016 Toyota Sienna front wheel drive vehicle. The next thing it asks us for is the tire size. So looking right here on the on the side of the tire, I have a 235, 235, 55, R18 tire. So that is step one, is to pick your vehicle. And then we just hit start in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So I just hit start. Uh, the next screen that it shows us is what's called a vehicle view. It shows your vehicle uh, kind of from a top view and it'll show you the, the tires, the engine, the transaxle and so on. Uh, and now we're ready to go on a road test. So uh, to go on a road test we are going to hit start recording in the upper right hand corner of the app. And then we're just going to set that on the vehicle dashboard go for a drive, we'll bring the vehicle up to the speed where the vibration occurs and make sure that you can feel the vibration. If you can feel the vibration, so can the NVH app. Uh, then go back to your uh, garage or, or uh, shop and hit stop recording in the upper right hand corner. So I'll hit stop recording. That is the second step of the diagnostic routine. So the third step of the diagnostic procedure is to see what the app tells you is causing the vibration on your vehicle. There are many ways to review the road test. You can look at a breakdown of when the vibration occurred by vehicle speed, the number of times it occurred, and so on. You can look at a graph of amplitude, which is how severe the vibration is versus time. Uh, that is the third step of the diagnostic process is let the NVH app itself tell you what it found as the most severe vibration on your vehicle. Uh, the fourth step, of course, is to repair it. So right at the bottom of the screen here, under where it tells you what the kind of vibration you have, there's a link that reads, how do I fix this vibration? So if we click on that link, it brings up a diagnostic help file with the eight main categories of things that can cause that type of vibration. Each of those categories has individual, detailed, step-by-step -step instructions, photographs, videos, and so on, of how to actually find the, the problem with the vehicle. Now, in the case of my van, uh, being a brand new van, um, it's a brand new van to me, but it, it was produced in March, and this is December. So there's a nine month uh, period between when it was made and when I'm here shooting this video. So. The vehicle sat for a long time, not sold, and that can cause flat spots to occur uh, on the tire, uh, in the sidewall, and so on. And so uh, what I ended up doing, which is the very first step of the diagnostic procedure here, is, is checking the air pressure of the tires to make sure they were correct. Uh, they were a little bit low. Uh, we inflated them to the proper air pressure, and that caused the vibration not to totally go away, but it reduced it enough that it's uh, bearable. Now, what, would, what else would need to be done to uh, fix this vibration? Continue following the step-by-step -step instructions. It could be something out of round, something out of balance, on and on and on. There's a big list of things to check. But that is the four-step process. Enter your vehicle information, go on a road test, record the the road test. Third step is to come back and review the diagnostics. Fourth step is to do the actual repair on your vehicle. 
that is the NVH app. It's all right here using the internal sensors of your phone to do the whole thing. You've already got the hardware, it's in your pocket. All you need is the NVH app. Click on the link below to find the app and purchase it for your smartphone.